many amongst you grew up to be the thing that you desired to be when you were young? Look, even if you didn't, it wasn't really the profession or the career you were after in the end. What you wanted was the feeling of being good at something, of being seen, of being known, of belonging, of being acknowledged, of being alive. We can't all get the officially sanctioned one of the world's 30 most exciting people badge. But in our own homes, in our own lives, we can remember that feeling of aliveness that we once had. If you do want to be a writer, I'd like you to come back to me this time next year and tell me what you did. The revolution, it starts here, now, tonight. You are worthy. You are desirous. You are valued. You are whole. You are loved. With love letters to a lost past, a future found, combustible, arranged on our tongues like origami flowers. We, 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 and this, this, this is how we are singing down the fortress. But empathy should not be based on the fact that we're all the same. Empathy should be. Simply recognizing that even if you are different, I will still accept you. I will still do my best to try to understand the world from your perspective. And tonight, I charge you to include my sisters and siblings in your conversations, in your movement work, and in the stories that you tell. I believe that our personal experiences can serve as the root of our public podiums. Never underestimate the power of your story. Utilize it to help create a more open, a more understanding, and a more just world. Thank you.